Well, it was 18 years ago I was getting to re ready to retire after 30 plus years of teaching. And of course, I figure I'm going to have all this time. So we had an active group um, at that time. We had our Sunday school, it was called then. We had our youth group. We had UMW. And we even for a while had a young mothers group because we had a number of young mothers with little tiny children. But I started thinking we didn't have a program for our seniors, our retired people. We had a number of active people who were here at the church uh, doing lots of things. Um, Carol and Ray Bromschreiber, Lois and Harvey Rain, Judy Longzine, Marie and Kurt Nelson, Kay and Dale Waugh had just retired, Nancy Campbell, she was one of my first helpers and support people, plus many others. And I thought, we need to have a group for them. So I come up with lots of good ideas, and I thought we need to bring these people together for lunch. So our fellowship hall was new and beautiful, and uh, add a few tablecloths and decorations to go with our theme for the day, and voila, we have a lovely dining room. And we would prepare a good meal, good food for everyone who came. So we began meeting about one Thursday a month, October through March, We'd have a short program and have lunch together. Well, Barb Lockwood learned of another church that wasn't in our area that had a group called Seasoned Seniors. So since they weren't close by, we could sort of seal their name, and we adopted the name along with the salt and pepper shaker that we put on to all of our communications. Well. Who were the seasoned seniors that we were inviting and hoping to attract? We said they were people who had already led a seasoned life, who give to others over the years, who've had many experiences, many memories, who have stories to tell. They've raised their family uh, and now probably may have grandchildren or great-grandchildren. They have lots of Saturdays all in one week, and they don't really run on a true schedule might be a little forgetful, may have some gray hair, but they also want to get out and be with other people and eat lunch with others. Could be people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. We've had people like 95, 96 even come. We started about the first year with about 15 to 20 church members coming. And after the first year, the group decided, we're going to start inviting relatives, friends, and people out of the community we know. And so then we started having 30, 40, 50, and we've had up to 80 people uh, come for lunch and our season senior day. We average probably in the 60s and 70s most times. You don't have to come every time. You come when you can. You bring a friend if you want. Uh, season seniors has really become an outreach program for the whole community. We have people from every church in the area. We have uh, sort of become our own mission project. The mission committee does provide money for postage for the mailings, because I send out a reminder since we're all a little forgetful. Um, I do the setup and the shopping. And then on that Thursday, I just have a wonderful group of, of church members who are really the, the work behind it. They're my support group because they show up by 9 o'clock and they prepare uh, the food for the lunch. They serve the lunch and then they even stay and do the cleanup. So they are our essential workers. We had our last regular season senior gathering uh, a couple weeks ago, March 14th. But we're going to have a special edition of season seniors coming up after Easter. On Wednesday, April 3rd, Fernando, who is known in the area for performing, he plays guitar as a vocalist. He's coming to SUMC. He will be in the fellowship hall, and everyone's welcome to come about 1 o'clock. We'll meet, and we're going to have uh, light desserts, not a full meal. We'll have dessert bars and cookies and that. And a friend told me once, if you drop them, all the calories fall out. Um, we'll serve some coffee and tea and things. But Fernando, I've heard several times, and he sings a real variety of music, oldies from the 50s, 
through the 90s. Hate to think that the 90s are oldies, but anyway. He does country rock and roll, uh, does some requests and that. So I send out these reminder notices usually during the week before. And if you have not been on our mailing list and haven't, would like to be, uh, let me know. If you're available, please come to our special edition. But also think about coming next fall in October when we start getting all together. So it's become quite a program. Um, probably I'll have to die to get out of doing it. Um, <laughs> so we just, people just, now it's just a part of our church. It's a part of our thing. And really I have fun doing it. Um, we just do a lot of different things. Uh, when we first started, we would include a craft, but that sort of died off. We've tried different games. People want to come and have fellowship and friendships with people uh, during their lunch, and that is what has made our program a real success. So thank you, and see me if you would like to get on the mailing list to get your friendly reminders. Thank you.